Hello, friends. Hi, how's it going? So, today I decided to teach a video on how to draw. So, I'm going to make this like a little series or whatever. You know, this is going to be my thing. I actually know a lot more art than probably like, you know, the about as much as other people but i like to share my thoughts and knowledge too on the interwebs so before we get started um the first episode is just going to be like basic anatomy structure oh my god meow so yeah basic anatomy structure so i'm gonna show you real quick excuse me baby i'm not i think we can't record right now we can't talk right now so let me go this so we have this picture right here and anatomy is going to be probably depending on what art you want is going to be like one of the hardest things you would want to, to uh, learn how to draw so as you see right here um in all of these i have done some type of anatomy actually let's do this on a new layer some type of anatomy like you see where I drew this is the head you know that's the neck and it actually helps me a lot mostly when I'm struggling with anatomy so what I would recommend is you see how I have all these layers <clears throat> you see how all these layers these are actually merged but I'm going to um I am going to show you how it's done. But before that, I'm going to show you another one. I really like Sonic the Hedgehog. So, I did it with Sonic 2. Let me just find it. I'm so sorry for it. I must have accidentally deleted. Well, shit. That was actually my favorite one I was studying. Oh, no, it's right here. So, hello? So, again, we did it with Sonic. Because I was relearning how to draw Sonic. And, um... So, again, it is like, you know, you use the shapes and stuff. So, let's, I'm going to show you how it's done real quick. So, what you're going to do, as you see that I have here, um, I have on Procreate, but you can actually, like, you know, uh, print the images you outself, but make sure to always turn down the opacity. Now, this actually doesn't even qualify as art theft because you are using the images to study. Remember that tracing, this would not be considered tracing, you know, you are um, studying the image. Now I actually have a few images here. My canvas was not big enough, but I got some of my favorite images I have on Pinterest. And um, we'll start with a simple one. So I'll go with the sitting pose right here. I do not know the artists on a lot of these because these are from Pinterest and sometimes Pinterest is not very honest. So what you're going to do, I grouped all the layers together, but you're going to turn down the opacity, right? Let's do it like that. So what you're going to do is, let's make a new layer for this one right here. Since we're just studying basic anatomy, you are going to do this. So like I showed you, this is where the head is you know this is actually a good exercise it's one of my favorites actually see there's the head this is the head and this is also the neck this is one of my favorite exercises especially when I feel like I'm out of touch with um, drawing lately now this one I think is pretty good for practice because you can see right here this is the shoulder blades and then it'll go down but this one will kind of bend and contort and there you go see and that will be the chest right here is the chest um so then again arm you don't always have to do like the whole thing uh, remember, we're only studying the image. We're not, um, we're not, you know, thieving from this artist. Respect your artist, okay? 
that is a bit messed up, but that's okay. So we're going to do that with a lot of things. See? Feet is one of the things I have trouble with, but we're going to work on that together. And uh, this is one of my favorite animes, BNA, our brand new animal. So again, head, you know, and then her neck will be like around, like, let's just say here. It's going to be more difficult with like dynamic poses because um, the body will contort in different ways. Oh, my bad. Um, let's see, and then that's where her um, thing is. See, now it looks like a pose. You know, this is great to study poses and basic anatomy. Like I said, um, now this one is going to be like a bit more challenging because you have like her hair and um, things like that. Her tail is one of the, like, the most iconic, her hair and ears, her animal ears is one of the most iconic things. Now let's do this with like a real person. So this one is going to be a bit hard, but if you want to know how tall a human is in art, terms it is about six heads high which this one will actually help right with the six heads high thing let's delete this so this one seems it's gonna be about two to three heads this is gonna be her head like you know the forehead chin now again challenging because we have this thing the arc for the soldiers right here right here I know this one has foreshortening but again we're gonna work on that later whoop and there we go see it's pretty simple actually her hair will get in the way but as long as you got the basic pose down it should be perfectly fine this one is gonna be again pretty simple like just like that There we go. I also would recommend also doing this with more than one character present. Because uh, drawing one character will, like, you know, you'll get used to it. But again, drawing with uh, multiple is going to be, like, a different story. Because if you want to do anything like comics or something, character it's not going to always be one character. That's going to be pretty plain and boring. This one is actually a very dynamic pose. And I think this is, before I <laughs> continue, I think this would be a great, like, example of dynamic poses. So, again, with the gist, we have the head here. Right here. Sorry, I messed it up. But you can see how the body is kind of, like, back, but also forward. So this right here is going to be the line of action. So you can also see the line of action in, like, a lot of things, like right here. And then for this character, it's here. This character, it's also here. Right. Same with this character. It's actually straight down. This character, it's also bent. So let's go back. So we have the line of action. We're going to use that to our advantage when um we don't know what where the pose is right so again we have the line of action so we know it's right there the line of action can actually help you tell where the torso and a lot of other things are and if you are like me i don't really like to draw the um i don't know what it's called i should know i'm an artist um little fun fact i learned about drawing shoes is when you're drawing like from beneath the shoe to always draw the sole, the bottom of the shoe first, and then build your way up.
so that's the basic shoe shape. I don't like drawing, um, the, the chest plates where the rib cage would be. Actually, I think it, I mean, you can if you want to. It's just my personal experience. I would not want to, right? So there we go. We have, like, the pose. Oop, I didn't finish it. So I would recommend going on Pinterest, um, lowering the opacity, opening any drawing program that you have, lower the opacity, and etc. to um, practice this. It actually helps me a lot. Like I said, it does. It's like a good warm-up exercise. I think we'll do this one next because it's actually um, pretty, also dynamic. And we have this character here is also his chest. Then you have his arm. Hand. Don't forget the head. So this is going to be actually pretty tricky. So you have his um, body right here. <coughs> Excuse me. And you're going to uh, find the head. You know, bones do have joints, so remember that. And I actually uh, learned a lot of this by myself, studying and stuff. That's how I can draw so much. Now this one is one of the poses I picked because I know it's going to be more challenging for me and I would learn with you two guys too. So again, head. Now I can't see the neck here, but if it would, I think it would probably look something like this. You don't really always have to guess. Sometimes it's more obvious, like in the previous um, things. But sometimes, you know, you don't need, like, every single joint to know where it goes. Right there. Now... The other tricky part is where does, you know, it seems like where does his um, chest go, but he's laying on it right here. Right there, there. That's his feet. We'll fix that. And like, there we go. And this character. Depending on what type of um, character, uh, if it's character, animals, it's great to study like the anatomy of it because if there is no anatomy, it's going to look very stiff, very um, unnatural. You want to make sure that the pose is actually very natural um, and, um, you know, doesn't look kind of like, you know, something unrealistic. So there it is. There's our poses that we have studied, you know, and yeah, that should be the basics. So we're going to take what we have just learned about the um, anatomy and this right here is going to be our reference. It's going to be our reference. So we're going to do something a bit challenging, which is this dynamic pose. I actually never done this pose before but again since we studied we know I'm gonna make it a different character though because respecting this artist again found this on Instagram I mean not Instagram my bad Pinterest but I'm pretty sure that the artist is on Instagram so one problem I do know I have is when I'm drawing um I do seem to make the head I mean, the shoulder blade right there, a bit too large. Let's move this over a bit and down. It's okay if you could always mess up when you're, when I sketch, I usually sketch pretty light. Um, Therefore, 
use because I usually do actually I've been doing a lot more digital art um, lately than traditional art but when I used to do more uh, traditional art um, I would uh, sketch too hard and the digital art was more of a hey you know we got to practice this um, practice um, sketching softly because when you're sketching hard in a sketchbook, it's going to be very harder, more hard to erase than it is. This one actually has more shortening, which is going to be a bit of a problem, but we can work with it. And then this, even though it doesn't look exactly like the pose, which is what we're going for, it doesn't look exactly like we're using it as a reference, a study guide, as you will. To um, show people um, how it can uh, look. Using references, again, you don't have to copy it like that. Just out of the book. Don't trace it. Tracing is not good. But I do know for a lot of artists, even like myself when I was younger, that I would trace. But that is young artists. We are learning how to be better artists to better our future, right? not gonna lie right now this is probably one of the best hands that I have made so far. I'm gonna make this into my character so we can see like you know the difference in oh damn that's actually a pretty fucking good hand. My bad. It's just holy god. So it seems like I should probably uh oop whoop I like to move um, the poses a lot, mostly this one needs to be fixed. I like to move the poses a lot because sometimes uh, where I put them and it doesn't look too natural. Also doesn't look that, um, I know how to fix this actually, I can see it. This is why we are studying, because we can see mistakes. Now my character, her name is Tara, um, after me, because I was too lazy to think of any other thing, but I do have like a lot of other characters that have different names. That I did not like that head. So we're off to a pretty decent start. Um, so while I'm drawing, I might as well tell you a little bit about her. She's a big troublemaker. And um, she's a very big troublemaker. She lives on a fictional planet that I had made up. And it took me very long to make up this planet. I recently... I had this planet idea since I was like a kid, but um, recently made a name for it all the way back at around like 2016, 17-ish. Despite her being like a troublemaker, she also has a very big heart, is very also sensitive, and um, but you know, sometimes she's just 
likes to uh, get in trouble. It's one of her best things. And it may just be like me because, you know, of what her nature is. This head is a bit off, but that is fine. We can fix that up. If you don't, oops, one second. So if you do not know, actually, if you're always having trouble with um, placement of facial features, one thing that you should know is the eyes line up with the um, ears. So the top of the ear should line up with the um, eye placement. Uh, oop, we can't figure out what mouth we want. That is also fine. Uh, I'm not a professional artist, but there we go. Actually, that mouth looks pretty good. Now then, now we're going to draw the feet. I never really get this far into a drawing, so. Into a drawing. I'm just gonna do, like, the basic pose structure itself, not, like, a whole thing. So, a little bit more about Tara since we are drawing as you draw along with me, or if you're just watching to study. Oop. Um. Besides her being a troublemaker, she lives on this planet called Makria, and the people are there are called Makrians. Um, she, they all have superpowers, but one of her power ability is lightning or electricity. Um, she's not very skilled at it, but also doesn't really want to learn how to control that power. It's kind of like a basic thing, like as people learn how to read and write, they learn how to use their powers for the better good. But, you know, like some people in Earth themselves, you know, they rather, some of them just rather not, it's like just not their forte to learn of a certain degree. She also doesn't really have parents. Her parents died and that's going to be like the big thing of her story. She doesn't really care about her parents, by that I mean, she knows that her parents wouldn't want her to mope around be, and um, be, be sad because they are no longer in her life. So they would, she knows that she would want her parents, that her parents would rather have her be happy and live on and not feel like that their death had, took a total toll of how her behavior and stuff is. I cannot figure out how that foot works, but that is okay. Sometimes I can't figure things out. And sometimes it'll take, like, um, a while to figure things out, too, for you. So don't, like, don't panic when, um, you can't figure things out. I don't do it. It's just, like, all a learning process. You know, when you ride your bike the first time, you wasn't, like, riding the bike um oh good you had to take the training wheel off and then learn how to take the training wheels off and all that jazz boop 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 her hair is actually black and her eyes are red but let's just um these hands are actually really good but the problem is since she is a female her hands are a bit too big but we're gonna leave it as this um, I would try for that foot again. I think I might will.
Mm -hmm. There we go. That looks a bit better, but you know, it is. So now I'm going to draw in her clothes. Having your own character isn't like that's essential. Um, a lot of artists draw fan art, and that's how they um, draw. That's how they um, get popular from the fan art. Then they also we start introducing like their characters to the world. But some artists just like kind of like sticking to fan art. Next, we're going to uh, talk about uh, clothing. Um, so this is the pose that we did. I'm actually pretty. I actually like it very much. I know the foot's still not great, but again, I'm not going to worry about it. It's something I'll just probably have to study and look up more. And that's basically it. I have an idea. So, I'm going to um, install the foot. Install. Ah. Okay, that looks way better. So, I hope you learned from this and maybe um, do uh, this, what I had taught you. I would suggest to... Um, I would suggest doing, like, the basic anatomy structure and poses for, like, a good, like, you know, every once in a while, um, cause it'll just, you know, be very helpful to know and, um, to learn and grow as an artist. It will, like, also help you in the long run, like, again, that the, um, other stuff and maybe you can teach someone else so teach someone else that um, something you've learned I wonder how many people actually know this trick I learned it from another youtuber and um, I thought it was pretty helpful and it um, it's something that I was like huh I never really thought about like doing that and stuff um, And I really did like it. I thought it was pretty helpful, so I learned it from them. But if you have any questions or anything, always, you know, comment um, them down below. I'll answer them, definitely. And, um... I'll get back to you with the best answer, and I'll probably make another video about it. But I hope you really did enjoy this little video session. Um, so, have a nice day, and I'll talk to you soon.